Hello friends, how you doing today? This is Sherry. I hope everyone's having a good day. I'm here to work on, um, actually, <laughs> this is a journal I already did a flip through on. Maybe, rem maybe you remember it. It's my Bloom journal. And uh, I realized after I did the flip through that I meant to add some little like pins or whatever, charm, something like that to the tabs. So I thought I'd go ahead and do that today. Um, yeah, I've been thinking about it all week and I'm like, I need to do that. I need to do that. And since I kind of want to do a short video today because of my voice, I thought, well, let me go ahead and do that on video. So I've already done a flip through. I can link it the below, below. It is in my shop, but I'm going to go ahead and add, this is what I'm talking about here. These little fabric uh, tabs that I did. And on each one, I did a different stitch to make it look kind of like a uh, hand stitching or embroidery, but it's just kind of a pretty stitch that my sewing machine did. So I'm going to, for the first one, I think I'll add, uh, I think I will add, there's, this is just a one signature journal, but I think there are three tabs, three tabs. So for the first one, I'm going to add a little black. This is a little black safety pin. It's just one of these little tiny ones. And then I'm going to grab, let's see, I don't want to knock anything over here and spill. So I'm going to close the lids. <laughs> That's the good thing about these little containers. Oh, I just dropped my pin in here. Where did it go? Yeah, that's the good thing about these containers is that that is weird. I dropped my pin in here and I can't see it. It just like dove down in here somewhere. I'm going to have to grab another one. Isn't that funny? Like I'll find it later, but it just like went down into the beads somewhere. Okay, let me grab another one. So again, closing the lid because if you ever spill it, those will stay in your little compartments. These little Dollar Tree organizers, if you turn it upside down, like, see, everything stays in their little compartments. So if you actually knock it off your craft table or whatever and the lid is closed, your stuff won't go everywhere. But you got to make sure you close your lid, right? Okay, so I've got a little black safety pin. Again, I'm not going to drop it this time. And I'm going to add a couple. All you can do with these is add a couple little beads. And then you can, you know, because you need room to close, pin it closed. So how I usually have been doing that is just, I take my pin and just kind of scoop it through the beads. We've got a kind of a greenish blue, kind of an aqua little piece of fabric there. So... I think the blues would stand out on that. So I'm gonna to try to see, I got, I got a couple. Actually, I got three on there already. I might have to take one off. One's a little tiny red one <laughs> that was mixed up in there, but I think it looks cute. So um, I can either put it on the outside over here in the, let me make sure you can see, in this crochet part, or I can put it here. I think I'll put it here on the fabric, like right on the edge kind of in the middle of this little fabric piece and see if I can get it on there with all three beads. If I can't, I'll take one bead off, but we'll see what we can do here. So, and then I'm gonna see if I can close it. It's very tight, <laughs> but, oh, it did. Okay, so there we go, there's one. Okay, can you see that? It just adds a lot, I think. It just adds something kind of cool and special, you know, to add a little pin there and that's, what I usually have been trying to do on my fabric tabs, <clears throat> and usually I let my journal sit for a day or two or three after I get them done, and so I can remember things like that. But this one, I remember I was getting ready for my flea market journal challenge. I was like, oh, I need to get this one done. So as soon as it was done, I did the flip through, and then after I did the flip through, I was like, oh, oh, I didn't add any, any pins or anything to the tabs. So, let's see, for this one, let me close my lid to my beads. That's one thing I do not ever want to spill, is my seed beads. So, back to this one with my pins. I'm going to grab a bulb pin for this one. I've got some little bronze colored ones here. And uh, out of this one, I'm going to grab a little cross. Let's see, guys, it's open. I've got some of these little bronze and silver crosses here. I think I'll add, I 
um, gone through. I've used a lot of these. Sometimes I have um, put them in my goodie bags. But um, I received those from, from Dale McBay at Not Too Shabby Chic a good while ago. And they uh, really have come in handy. So I'm going to hang one of these on my little bulb pin here. I think that'll be really cute. Let me see how I want to do that. I think I want to put it, these can go either way. So I think just whatever way. I'm going to pin it like this. So I'm going to grab my tab. And again, I'm going to go ahead and put it through the, kind of the middle of this fabric piece here. And I can pick it up because I did my stitching kind of in a little bit from the edge of the fabric. So I can pick it up a little bit, I think, and kind of pin it right here in the middle of the edge of this fabric. At least I hope I can. Let me see if I can get it in there. That's kind of a little bit of a tedious thing sometime, sometimes to get that in there, but it goes in. There we go. And there we go. We have a pretty little hanging bulb pin with a cross. Now, isn't that perfect? And doesn't that add so much to it? I love it. Okay, I'm glad I didn't just say, oh, whatever, it's already listed and I'm not going to do any more to it. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> yeah, I just, um, you know, felt like it wasn't complete because I didn't add my pins. <laughs> so, okay, so back to the pins. So I used a black one right there. I used a bulb pin right here, those two. So let's see, I have... Some more black ones. Oh, I thought I had some different colors. Oh, here's a little gold one here. This is probably just as random one. Oh, this is silver. This is probably from a piece of clothing. Whenever I get one on a piece of clothing, I also save it, throw it in here. Um, but these are all black. I see they're a little bit, you know, you know they're, they look like they're different sizes, but I guess they're not. They're so cute though, aren't they? I love those little black pins. Well, I got them at uh, Walmart. And I don't know if Walmart still carries them, but um, I haven't looked for them in a while. I used to look for them all the time because I was like, I love those little black pins and I never want to run out of them. <laughs> so I guess if I run out of them, if Walmart doesn't have them, I would look on Amazon. On Amazon. So let's see. Here we've got that aqua fabric again, but with a little bit of kind of a cream, almost white, but not quite white little piece of trim on top of that and so this I think I will use you know what would be cute is some of these little kind of bronzy colored beads here uh, just a small one though so let me see what I can get with just a little scoop here actually see this this is kind of a tan colored thread so let me look, see these right over here. These are kind of goldish, bronzish, but almost kind of look like they match the thread and the yellow in this aqua piece. Let me see if I can grab some of these. This one I might have to pick up because they're a little bit bigger. Well, let me try. Oh, I had one and <laughs> I dropped it. Okay. Well, let me try this one. Oh, these are a little bit bigger, so they're not scooping as well. The, the smaller ones, the tiny seed beads will just scoop right on there. Oh, I have one on there. It's a little teeny thing, like, I don't know what color it is. I guess it's a bronze little, like a piece of a baguette type bead. And then the little uh, golden one I was telling you about. So that is enough on there as far as that's, you know, that's all that will really fit on there. So let's see. I want it to show up, so I'm going to try to get it onto this piece of creamish, creamish, almost white colored trim. So let's get that on there. That went in really easily, actually. Well, pretty easily. I have very much, very little to uh, pin now, but let me see if I can get it pinned. It's such a little piece there because those beads take up a lot of room. All right, this is going to be tight. <laughs> I'm like pulling it. Okay, there we go. Oh, that is cute. All right, see, there we go. I hope you can see, I'm, I hope you're seeing these in the camera. But here we go. Isn't that so cute? 
and it just adds a little something special, I think, to the tabs. So the other thing I wanted to do that I was thinking, oh, you know, why didn't I do this in this journal is use a couple of my new little tiny, super tiny little paper clips that I had shown you in one of my Thrifty Thursdays for, you know, my Thrifty Thursday from AliExpress. So I pulled out two or three items so I can use two or three. I figured I ha I did experiment to see that these actually work as paper clips because they're so little. I thought, am I really going to be able to clip something with those? And it did go onto a piece of paper. But I figured I wouldn't be able to clip a whole lot, like two or three pieces of paper. But I thought I would try like one, one piece of paper. So we're going to try that real quick. So we're here right back at the front of this journal. And let me go look for like a piece of paper or a page that doesn't have anything on it uh, at all. Like no trim, no pocket. But this one has the inner kind of trim here. But uh, let's see what else. This one's a little thin as far as this is like the, the see-through typing paper. Let me try this one. I think this one would be good, actually. So I've got one of my really old uh, 19, what is this? 1955 grocery store receipts here. I thought that would be a fun addition to clip in. And then somebody can do what with it what they want. So let's see. Oh, oh, I almost had it. Thought I had it. And I didn't. <laughs> let's try it again. See how hard these are to use. Okay. I did tear the receipt. Oh, so they're a little hard to use. Yeah. And I'm tearing my receipt, I see. So these are very um, kind of old. But, well, I can't get it on there. I'm kind of afraid of tearing this, too. Let me try. Let me try this one. Because I'm about to tear the page. Did I tear the page? I didn't tear the page, but I'm about to tear that receipt. So let me just experiment with this one. And then I'll know how it works with, uh, and how I can do it with the next piece, which is that old receipt. So it is hard to get it around the paper here because it's so tiny. I'm kind of at an awkward angle. Let me try up here at the top. Isn't that weird? But, uh, yeah, I was able to get it over one piece of paper before. Let me loosen, let me turn it around. Maybe if I turn it the other way. Let me try that. Maybe there's a back and a front to this paper clip. <laughs> let me try this. Okay, there we go. That is working. So then maybe there's actually a front and a back to these little paper clips. It's still not really going on, but it is. It went on there and I didn't tear anything. So there it is. So I clipped, this was just a printable that I had sitting here. So it is, it's paper. So it is nice to have papery bits like this, which are not cardstock to glue down onto something because you've got that thin layer that is nice to either glue down, you know, use as layering or, you know, make and put on cardstock and make into a journaling card. So yeah, that one's going to be there. So I've got, again, the grocery store receipt and I've got some postage stamps. I thought I'd try to clip in here so let's see if we can do one or two more here let me find another page with nothing on it I have a, that inside trim that does make um just so you know that makes the pages a little stiff to turn but if you go like that like behind that trim push it over and I just thought it was pretty and so I added that and then um it just makes it a little stiff to turn and it might loosen up, but I think it's really pretty and it's worth doing that. So anyway, there's nothing on this page. Uh, let me see. Uh, oh, here's one that's really, really blank too. Let's go ahead and do this one here. So let's try the grocery <laughs> receipt. It was a little easier to clip from the top. Let me get this. So I'm planning on doing two more. Let's see how I open this. Two, at least two more paper clips. Let me get two more out and see what we can do here. 
Yeah. So as far as my voice goes, I think it's about the same as yesterday. <laughs> I didn't knock it out yet, but I'm doing all the things still. And I um, added in, uh, to, this morning I took a, a daytime, you know, the daytime medicine, cold medicine. I have that in, you know, pill form, the little orange capsules, whatever, <laughs> liquid gels. I took the dosage of those this morning. So I'm going to see if that kind of knocks it out today. I didn't think I really needed that because it has a lot that it does that I don't feel like I really need. I don't feel like I really have a cold. I just have this throat thing, but I know it can turn into a cold and other things. So again, I'm still trying to knock it out before it gets any worse. So being that I stayed the same since yesterday, that's good. But I didn't get any better, I don't feel like. So and I got to go to work tomorrow. <laughs> I don't really feel like going to work like this, but I did on a Friday. My voice wasn't quite this, quite this bad on Friday, but it wasn't, uh, it was a little, I was a little hoarse on Friday too. But um, see, this has a tab. I'm looking for one more page to put some stamps on to clip. Maybe this one right here. That would be cool. Okay. So where's my other clip? Did I, I thought I got two out. Well, I'm just losing my clips today. That They're so small. You've got to be careful. Either I didn't get two out or I lost one. <laughs> so that's the second one I would have lost. Let's see. I did not know. I don't see it. Maybe I had it on that page. I don't think so. Though. Maybe I didn't get two out. But anyway, I can let you know how the day quill does. Not it's daytime, not day quill, but um, yeah, I guess it's a version of day quill. So let me find a pretty stamp here. Let's see. Oh, there's a pretty flowery little stickers, so not actually stamps, but since it's the bloom journal, the bloom, <laughs> the flower, maybe see these are little uh stickers like stamp stickers, and they're very pretty. Maybe I'll just tear this in half. Or cut it in half. <laughs> it's not going to be tear it, I don't think. But I'll put like six of these here on this page. And these would be pretty to embellish things with. So yeah, just some extra goodies. It's fun to clip in. I do like to do that if I remember. And like I said, I didn't remember a couple things that I wanted to do. And I do like to clip extra things besides the things I glue down and put in pockets. Let's see how hard this one's going to be to clip on because this is a little thicker piece of paper. Let me see if I can actually loosen this up a bit. I was going to do that on the other one and I didn't. I just turned it around. But let me see. So which is the... Okay, this looks like I'm going to call the front. So I'm going to try to get my fingernail under there and kind of loosen this up a little bit. Like pull it out. I could use a tool so I don't tear up my fingernails, but... I'm going to try to loosen it up a little. They're very stiff. I think it's, they're so tiny and they're very stiff, which I think is the basic problem is they're so stiff. So I kind of tried to bend that little paper clip out a little bit. Hope I bent it the right way though. I think I did. I don't know. I don't think I bent it very much. Let me get my um, scissors under there. Let me try that real quick. Yeah, kind of like bend it out a little bit. Yeah, there we go. I'm getting my scissors under that little clip and kind of bending it out a little bit. So maybe it's a little easier to clip onto something. We'll see. We'll see if that helped. Okay, now let's try it again. All right, let's see if that worked at all. Okay, yeah, I think that did help a lot. Okay, I didn't think I really bent it. It looked the same. Like it didn't look bent, but I think I did loosen it up a little bit. So there we go. Now, if I think of anything else what I want to do to this journal, I will come back and show you. But yeah, I thought, you know, I didn't clip anything in. I didn't put any pins on the tabs. You've already seen a flip through, so I'm not going to do that. But again, this is already in my shop. And I'll let you know if I think of anything else that I forgot to do. <laughs> so, um, you know what? Let me see. Let me tie it up. Let me tie it up. Oh, you know what I forgot to do, too, on the flip through? After I um, 
finished, I was like, oh, I didn't show a side view. So here's the side view now. Yeah, it's got all the pretty trims and the tabs. And I think it's a really pretty side view. I've got, um, if you remember, well, I've got quite a few trims, but like um, one, two, three, this one sticks out four, and then the tabs stick out. And then there's a couple more trims in there that don't really stick out. They're just on the pages. And they don't really protrude out like these ruffly kind of trims do. They're not ruffly, but you know what I mean. They're little trims that have scalloped edges and things and laces. So I'm going to tie this. Let's see if we need anything else. Or if I think of anything else I forgot to show you. Here's the top with this little crochet tab. There's uh, something there sticking out. Oh, that's the top of a bookmark. This is a, a ruffle on a journal card. And yeah, I forgot to show you the side view. I think that's it. Unless I decide to add a little pin or something here. I've got a few minutes. Let's grab um, let's grab a bulb pin and a little like a key. Let's see. This is a teeny tiny key. I don't want to make this any more bulky here, but I could add a pin down somewhere on here if it'll go through this. Okay, so I've got a little key here, and well, here's a blue pin. Is that blue or black? That's blue, and we've got blue here. It's a little big. Uh, let's see. Here's another tiny key. Is that all of my tiny keys? Because I've got lots of keys, but not... Maybe I used um, uh, all my tiny tiny keys. Let me see. So I used a cross. I don't think I want... Oh, here's some silver keys. Got a bunch of silver keys here. So let me see. Um, one of these will look cute on a bow pin. Uh, here's a flatter one. This would look cute on this blue. You know, the problem is I need a bulb pin with these. So it's not a problem, but it needs a bulb pin. So let me see uh, if I can do this somewhere. Add a little. I can either add it over here. Oh, that's kind of, that would look cute right there. Right here by the tie closure. Yeah. So these are little things I like to do at the end. And after I let it sit, I usually, for a day, I usually remember like, oh, I gotta add some little, you know, keys or charms or whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna add this right here onto the tie closure. There we go. Now isn't that cute? There we go. Alrighty, I hope you enjoyed this little update. <laughs> the things I forgot video <laughs> so um, I'll see you next time I hope you all have a great day and uh, off to another little crafty project I'll see you next time happy crafting